Welcome back this morning to the Gospel of Luke. We're at chapter 24 today, verses 4 through 8. And let us read. And it happened as they were greatly perplexed about this, that behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Then as they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth, they said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. So here are the followers of Jesus. The angels are there, and they, they appear to them as men, but soon they recognize this isn't, this isn't just a couple of guys. These are angels. And the angels say, Don't you remember what Jesus said to you? And the angels bring it to their mind. And so there they recognize he must be delivered, he must be crucified, and rise again. And Jesus said this several times. I've never tallied it up, but if you go through the four Gospels, he, he repeatedly told his, his followers, look, I'll be crucified, but then I'll rise. But somehow that just, a lot of people, they just did, it didn't stick. And I think sometimes we as Christians today, we kind of look at Jesus as, you know, a great teacher, and, and this was a wonderful story, and it kind of makes sense, and, and sure, I sure, boy, I sure hope it's true. I think sometimes we look at it like that, but that's not the way it is. The fact is, is that this is a historical fact. Jesus made the world. Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive today. He did just what he said he would do. The third day, rise again. And so, yes, on the first day of the week, he rose from the dead and is alive forevermore. So, friends, this, they were very perplexed. Why do you seek the living among the dead? And I think a lot of Christians, a lot of times we seek the living among the dead. We kind of we, we sort of believe in Jesus, if you could do such a thing. We, we sort of believe in Jesus, but he's alive today. Makes all the difference in the world, all the difference in how you and I will live today. Dear Father in heaven, we said it before and we'll say it again. Jesus is a risen Savior. Thank you that you are alive. Thank you that you are finishing, closing out this great conflict between good and evil. Thank you that you are on your throne and there are, are days, days ahead, days of mercy and love and people being what people are supposed to be because of your power in us. Now, Lord, help us when we are perplexed to remember that we don't seek for Jesus among the dead, but among the living. And we serve a living person, a living king. Thank you. Jesus. In Jesus' name we, ask, we pray, we ask. Amen. Friend, you serve a risen Savior if you're a Christian. There's nothing better. There just isn't. Have a wonderful day.